Hello everyone. In this particular video, we will talk about a very beautiful connection in projective geometry. Let's start with something called Popper's theorem. Do you see the blue line and the yellow line? We have taken three points in each of those lines. In the blue line, we have A1, A2, A3. And in the yellow line, we have B1, B2, B3. Let's join A1, B2 and A2, B1. Suppose the intersection point is C1. Similarly, let's join A2, B3 and A3, B2. The intersection point is C2. And finally, we join A1, B3 and A3, B1. The intersection point is C3. Notice that C1, C2, C3, these three points, they are on the same straight line. This is interesting and intriguing because it does not depend on the position of A1, A2, A3 or how the lines, blue lines and the yellow lines are tilted, how the gap of B1, B2 or A1, A3 or A2, A3 is. None of these things matter. C1, C2, C3 is always on the same straight line. <laughs> this is sometimes called an invariant. It's a very powerful invariant. In fact, this is sometimes called a projective theorem, the one that I'm showing. Of course, I've not talked about the proof of it. It's called projective because it's, it does not depend on lengths or angles in a certain sense. So it's, it's length independent and angle independent. In a more advanced mathematical language, this is, this is metric independent. Now let's look at a very interesting analog of it. It's a generalization for sorts. It's called the Pascal's theorem, which starts with an ellipse. Again, take three points A1, A2, A3 on the ellipse and three more points B1, B2, B3 on the ellipse. And let's do the exact same thing. Let's join A1, B2 and A2, B1. Suppose again, the intersection point is C1. Again, let's join A2, B3 and A3, B2. One more time, suppose the intersection point is C2. And finally, let's join A3, B1 and A1, B3. Suppose the intersection point is C3. And you, you, are, you have guessed it right. Again, C1, C2, C3 will be on the same straight line. And it doesn't matter on the size of the ellipse. It does not matter how these points are put on the circumference of the ellipse. They can be as wide or as close to each other. I'm not talking about the, about the proofs because that's a different discussion. I just want you to wonder and be spellbound by the beauty of this. I, this is the connection between Pascal's theorem and Popper's theorem. If you take the ellipse and make it wider and wider, you see what, what we are getting, right? We are getting two lines which extend up to infinity if you infinitely extend the ellipse. So thereby you get the Popper's theorem from the Pascal's theorem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you know something beautiful, similar and beautiful in geometry, let us know in the comment section. This video is created at chinta.com. If you like exciting mathematics, you can check the link in the description for more detail. Thank you for joining us.